18.3, fluid flow. How do, how do the properties of streamlines differ for laminar and turbulent flow? Uh, so uh, your streamlines for laminar, they will always be in the same position relative to each other. Um, what else? They maintain their shape and their relative positions, whereas turbulent flow will become chaotic, right? Okay, so they're more chaotic, they, they change uh, erratically. 11. What is viscosity? It measures, it's a property that measures the fluid's resistance to shear stress. Okay, uh, fluids with high viscosity uh, don't flow easily even when they're experiencing um, uh, shear stress, okay? Non-viscous fluids have low or zero velocity and they flow easily. So I think we spoke a bit about viscous fluids earlier. So resistance to shear stress. It, it measures the resistance to shear stress. What factors determine whether the flow of fluid past an object is laminar or turbulent? Okay, the textbook speaks about three of them. Uh, one is the speed, flow speed. The one is the shape of the object that it's flowing past. And the last one is the viscosity. Speed, shape and viscosity of the fluid. This, um, this allows us to determine whether it will be laminar or turbulent. 13. What does it mean to streamline an, an object? And what is the benefit of doing this? It means that you change the shape of the object so that uh, it maintains its streamlines around it. Okay. Um, why do we want to do that? Because it minimizes energy dissipation. Minimizes energy dissipation. Okay. 15. Wait, no, 14. What does it tell you if the streamlines for a fluid in laminar flow are closer together whoops, in one part of the flow and farther apart in another part of the flow? Well, if the streamlines are closer together, it tells you that the fluid, the speed of the fluid is, is higher than when they're farther apart, further apart. Okay? Um... Speed is greater when they're closer together. 15. What is the connection between flow speed and pressure in a moving fluid when the flow is laminar? Well, the pressure is lower when the speed is higher, and the pressure is higher when the flow speed is lower. Okay. See you in the next one.